you guys. Um, we are on our way to the mall, and now I've got little Arlo in the back seat. He's doing so much better, you guys. It's crazy, so I'm very happy to report that he is pretty much fully healed. Um, I don't think he's gonna go to daycare, though, honestly, um, today or tomorrow. Well, he's definitely not going today. But I have to run to Abercrombie to return those items from my haul um, that I reordered. I'm wearing the shirt that I reordered in a small. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're headed to the mall. I've gotta go all the way to Galleria, which is kind of annoying. It's like a 20 minute drive compared to North Park, which is like 10 minutes, but they don't have one in North Park. So we're headed there now. Um, that's the plan to return that stuff. I also was gonna look at like Old Navy or Gap and see if they have a cute little 4th of July outfit for Arlo, at least like a shirt. Cause I just didn't see anything cute from Target when I was in there the other day. So we'll see that and then yeah, then um, I'm trying to think of what else we had on the agenda today. I need to pack. Um, I'm like started but not finished. Oh shoot, yeah, I need, forgot there's a detour here. Um, but anyways, that's the plan. Thought I would bring you guys along, start filming, probably take a two day vlog. Um, I missed you guys. I'm so freaking happy to be back. Like it's been kind of crazy. I mean, I've still posted videos, but like it's been crazy in terms of like, you know, getting our little better and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for your support and love and just nice words um, while Arlo is getting better. He is doing much better. Um, his legs are still peely, but so much better. So let's go to the mall. All right, so we just went in to the mall and exchanged all my Abercrombie stuff or returned it all um, for the right sizes, whatever. I feel like the stores have nothing, which is super depressing. Like there's just nothing in store. That's good. It's all online, that's good, but whatever. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Anyways, um, you can do free in-store um, returns, so that's nice. I also went to H&M and got some clothes for Arlo, and then I got him a pair of little sandals from Gap, which it's crazy. I haven't been able to find like baby sandals like anywhere, so they were expensive, but it's like I literally could not find them anywhere. So I got them the cutest little outfits, so I'll show you when we get home. Um, he's pretty exhausted because it's noon. I kind of want to transition him. He's Lately, since he's been homesick, he's been doing two naps at 10 o'clock and around a two o'clock. Um, but I'm trying to get him on the 12 o'clock so we need to get home. It's 12 now um, because that's gonna work best for our flight on Saturday and it's honestly what he does at daycare so I kinda wanna adjust him back into that so he's not taking two naps. So yeah, but he slept in until nine today so I was literally like, well, I'm not gonna put him down in an hour. So noon worked out good so he's back there. We're gonna head home. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten anything today at all so I need food. I'm gonna try this new place for lunch. It's called Salad and Go. Apparently they have really affordable salads. It's only like a drive through place, but I'm super excited that they have something like this in Dallas. So hopefully it's good, I'll keep you guys posted. I've always wanted and wondered why they don't have like healthy to go options, um, especially in larger cities like Dallas. So this is exciting that they have like to go salads. I mean, it's something, honestly, we just don't have a ton of food at home and um, we leave this weekend. So it's just, we're going out to dinner tonight with Scott's family and before they leave. And um, yeah, I was just thinking, hmm, I wanted Chick-fil-A, but then I was like, you're gonna be eating barbecue for dinner tonight? So I figured I'd eat a salad. So hopefully this is good. They're supposed to be like relatively affordable. So, you know, sometimes you can get a to-go salad and it's like 20 bucks, not really, but you know what I mean, it's expensive. So I think Arlo's asleep back there. But let's see how this goes. I wonder if they actually make it on site or if they just get it delivered. So the cop salad and then the ranch jalapeno, I think, or something like that. I don't know. The And the lemonade, or I didn't get a lemonade, I got an iced green tea mango. And the whole thing came to like $13, so that's really good. So it's my turn now. <sighs> Hello. I probably have stuff in my teeth. Well, all right. So I didn't record my lunch, of course, because I literally just demolished it. It was actually really, really good. So if you guys have one of those, it's called Salad, salad and Go. I think that's what it's called. Salad and go. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? Um, yeah, it's called Salad and Go and it was really good. I got the cob and I got, um, I got Scott the jalapeno ranch, I believe. But anyways, <clears throat> oh, here comes Winnie. Um, I didn't use the dressing that, they, that came with it because it 
dressings are always like super calories and whatnot. So I used the Bolt House Farms in the cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. It was so good. So highly recommend that. Um, Arlo took a nap in the car, which if you're a mom, you know, is like the worst thing unless he stays asleep because then you put him in the crib and you get home and he doesn't stay sleeping. So I think we might be um, skipping nap time today, which isn't good. I wanted to show you, oh, there's my tea. I'm gonna finish drinking this. I'm gonna try this guy, which I got yesterday from Target. It's the Hawaiian Shaped Ice Alani New Energy Drink. I was thinking about trying this flavor in the pre-workout next. So that's why I decided to grab an energy drink. I don't think I've ever tried their energy drinks before. So let me prop you up here. We do a little tasty test. Ignore my messy background. Mmm, smells good. Mmm. Kind of sweet. But not bad. good so yeah if you haven't tried these out give them a go i got mine at target and you can get them on amazon gnc all that okay so i got it for arlo a little h&m haul for you guys um i got him this little shirt which says save the waves just i love stripes in these colors i thought they were really pretty so i got him this in a size one and a half to two years old um just a basic little striped shirt and these colored shorts to go with it um i got him in the 9 to 12 because he just has such a tiny little waist so i got these i liked how they cuffed at the bottom because shorts look so long on him <laughs> basically look like capris but i thought this was cute together this you guys i'm so obsessed with for fourth of july so it comes with a little bucket hat which he is his current bucket hat is too small for him and then it came with this little romper thing oh there's no buttons oh that's annoying i guess you can button them that way i thought there were going to be buttons at the bottom but it has little pockets in it i just thought this would be super cute for fourth of july so uh, that's all i picked up and then <clears throat> i did my <clears throat> returns at um i promise that receipts in there and then i was able to finally find him little sandals Target just doesn't have like cute little sandals for babies and I couldn't find them on Amazon either so I found them at Baby Gap. They were kind of overpriced, not gonna lie. Um, they were originally $25 but they were had 30% off so I paid like 18 bucks for them with tax and everything. Um, but he just struggles to find, or I struggle to find shoes that fit him. So these are actually 12 to 18 months. Cause most, I feel like most babies when they're, they're like a five or at least a four. He's still like three and a half. So if your baby has teeny tiny feet, try these. They're really, really cute. They've just got like dark blue and light blue and I thought they would go with everything. So I picked those up for him. Um, so yeah, that's everything we got. I'm gonna do some packing and I'm gonna watch um, Murder in Heartland, I think. I've been watching those. You guys, the, oh, what did we just watch the other night? I literally had the worst nightmares in the entire world. So if you like scary. Um, let me see the clover hitch killer on netflix is like so scary and disturbing i was so scared the other night i like woke up in the middle of the night and like heard arlo and this is the weird thing so arlo never like if he wakes up in the middle of the night he cries and then goes back to bed he doesn't just like wake up awake and he woke up during the middle of the night. I don't know if this was just all in my head or if it was real life because I was too scared to go look. He was like playing and like talking to himself in there. And I was like, oh my God, I'm literally freaking out. I was so scared. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, this is so weird. Like he doesn't normally just like carry on like having a conversation, like hanging out and playing. He normally like cries or goes back to bed or wants to pass eat. And like, I just couldn't go in there because I was too scared. It's not weird. It's super weird. I know, but you know, it's what it is. So. Anyways, I did end up getting this shirt in small and Scott made fun of me because he's like, have you ever played tennis in Manhattan? And I'm like, shut up. Again, you dress like a toddler. Um, but I ended up getting this in a small and I like it a lot. So 
that's that. Yeah, I looked at Abercrombie and I was gonna hopefully pick up some things, but I'm just gonna order online again because they're in store, just they have no selection, so. Anyways, what else did I need to update you guys on? <clears throat> oh, um, I think I already showed you about the podcast I'm currently listening to. And then, what else? What else did I get at Target that I feel like I can share with you all? I was like wanting to get it from South. These are one of my secrets for traveling. So, I mean, if you normally get gel nails, you wouldn't have really an issue, but if you just paint your nails like I do, um, sometimes they just don't last the full vacation. Odds are they're not going to. So I love just bringing um, some nail polish remover wipes. So these ones are just from Qtex from Target. So I love just basic nail polish remover wipes. So that way you can remove them and repaint them. Um, this lotion for Arlo's um, eczema has been really good. He doesn't necessarily, he does have eczema. I'm not even lie. He has a little bit of eczema, um, but he also, just because he has all those bumps all over his legs, um, they're starting to peel off and scab. So I've been getting this Eucerin um, eczema lotion. So I just got to travel one so we can bring it with us on the trip and just gather him with that. This is the sunscreen we use for him, Think Baby. He can start to fit in these native shoes here to get them filthy um he just rips them off because he can i got oh i was able to find my favorite tank tops um the a new day i don't think you can even get them online right now they're like the high neck the one that i have in like that green blue i was able to find it in a black so i snatched that up i can't even find them online and then i got a mini contact solution i basically just get minis of stuff and then um, refill them uh, I hate the travel to like travel containers only because I forget what I have in them and it's harder to fill them and then for all my beauty products like skincare and shampoo stuff like that like my dad has shampoo and all of that but I just bring like the samples that I like kept from over the years like if you um rs4 vib like you can get those little mini samples uh, also i just got a bunch from working for sephora like they just would give them to you so i have a ton of those which are great for traveling because i already know i already have them in full size so i just um bring the little ones with me when i travel and then you just throw them away when you're done um and it's so much nicer than having to refill the containers and remember what cream you use if you don't use the same one all the time so if you use the same one all the time it's no big deal but I like this. So, anyways, I'm gonna get to packing up a couple more things, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's Thursday. We have um, a dinner tonight. Like I said, we're going to this place called Smoky Rose, which is a barbecue place. Um, and then tomorrow's just gonna be finishing up last minute things, getting the house clean. I hate leaving with a dirty house. So I was really happy that I was able to get to my errands done today, like my Abercrombie return. I just didn't want to be able to have to like not be able to return it if I was gone too long. And so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to pack up our diaper bag and all that stuff. I have to pack a lot less diaper bag stuff, but more toys and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, hope y'all are having a good Friday so far. I'm going to pack up some of this stuff and see if Arlo actually wants to sleep or if he wants to come and watch some Coco Melon. It's a little bit later now. It's two o'clock. Arlo did not go down for a nap, but I went ahead and got him some lunch, played a little bit, and now he's down for a nap. So hopefully he will stay napping because um, he really needs to really be crazy when we go to dinner tonight. I wanted to show you a little travel hack. This isn't revolutionary. You've probably heard of it before, but it's to use saran wrap on your bottle. So this cap just comes off so easy. This is Arlo's sunscreen. And you can tape the lid, but sometimes it still just isn't enough. So I just take a little piece of saran wrap and put it over, you can see, I twist off the lid. Thank you, Winnie. So I just put it over the lid, over where the opening is, and then screw it back on. And you're good to go. I still do put it in like a little blacky bag just to be extra safe. This lid, I'm not worried about. This is a really good sealing lid. Anything that you can't like automatically pull or that's gonna get smushed and go everywhere. So, got that. And then this, 
already has a seal on it so we're good to go with that um but yeah that's just a little travel hack um for you guys also a fun travel hack that scott does that if you're not an overpacker um or you're not worried about like overweight suitcases or whatever it is put your clothes on the hanger in your suitcase so when we get anywhere he just takes them out of his suitcase i have a hair on my face and like hangs them up which is so genius i just have a hair i just always have like an overweight suitcase so i can't but he does and he swears by it and it's honestly a really good idea so he just takes like i said folds up all the sh like we'll stack a pile of shirts fold all the sh sleeves in fold it up and just put that in the suitcase and then when he gets wherever he's going he just hangs up such a genius little guy isn't he um but anyways i'm literally dying over how precious this is oh my god i can't i love overalls and uh, i don't know i was looking at all the little girl stuff today i want a little girl but you know what i'm okay being a boy mom is really fun um being a mom in general is really fun so i am now going to wrap up packing i pretty much have my toiletries packed so i just need to add this little guy to the set um and then I, all i needed left from arlo was swim diapers um if you guys have a good brand that you recommend for swim diapers we just had the pampers i think um or huggy swimmers i don't know but let me know in the comments down below what you guys use um i'll probably buy more when we get there because i'll probably go through a couple um, a day. It's probably swimming quite a bit. So, hi, Miss Winnie. If you're curious to know what Miss Winnie does while we're gone, she hangs out with Scott's brother. Scott's brother loves Miss Winnie. So, um, he's able to take her to work with him as well. So, that's really cool. So, she's never by herself. So, yeah. That is where we're at. Um, I'm also bringing one of these little guys as well because these are awesome for putting yogurt in. Um, Arlo's been loving them. They're just the Baby Breeza reusable pouches. So they're awesome. Literally, I swear by these things. So um, yeah, I've been putting yogurt in them for quite a bit. Uh, I'm procrastinating. Ugh, I don't really feel like doing anything. My energy drink has not kicked in yet. Things going. Is this how packing's going? He also doesn't normally have a passy in his mouth, but because he's still not feeling well, we're letting him have it. Ew, that's gross. That's your toothbrush. So this is where we're at. <laughs> he just won't stay out of it, so. And Miss Winnie always likes to sleep in the suitcase, too. Can you put them back in? Thank you. Good job. Hey. Are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? Look, Alito. Who is that? Who is that? You can tell his face is really cleared up. I was attempting to pack. <sighs> You're a little gremlin! <laughs> this is what my suitcase looked like when I got home. Worse than it did when Arlo was playing with it because Miss Winnie thinks she can sleep in my suitcase. She does it all the time crazy lady oh my god i look crazy i'm so sweaty and nasty i'm about to take my makeup off um we just got back from dinner a little while ago it's a little after nine o'clock i'm exhausted it was really good i'm so full i feel like we've been really not going out to eat as much as we used to obviously having a kid just so many different things also it's just a lot of food and whatnot and so we've really been not doing it as much so now i find that if you guys are like this let me know we just like binge when we go out we just eat so much food because we're like we never go out <laughs> we have a problem <laughs> so anyways and then you just want to try everything you know because yeah so we ordered three appetizers and drinks and duh and so i'm full um, but it was really good. So if you're in Dallas or come to Dallas, um, Smoky Rose, it's very kid friendly. The outside area, I don't know about the inside area, but they have like cornhole and they've got little fake grass and it was just really family kid friendly. So it was really cool. Um, very hot. But I mentioned I was going to try the ordinary AHA whatever thing. And to be honest, I'm kind of scared to try it right now. I just don't want anything to happen to my face before we go to New York. 
but I'm gonna use a tried and true, which oh, I don't wanna get up. I wanna go put on my jammies, but I'm gonna show you. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this many a times before, but if you've not given this a try, it's so good. I have mascara like all under my eye, cute. This is the 25% AHA and 2% BHA. It's so, so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, um, so, so good. So I decided to pick up the Ordinary one, um, but since I haven't tried it before, I'm just gonna go with this one for tonight. I just wanna clean everything out of my pores and this is phenomenal, so give it a try. If you haven't tried it out, I will link it down below for you guys. It's one of my must-haves. All right, I washed my makeup brushes and that ignore the dirtiness that is that. I whipped my makeup on it, but these are clean before my trip. Um, I cleaned those, so looking good. Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Um, I'm feeling kind of groggy this morning. I just like way over ate yesterday. I'm um, feeling a little puffy and a little just like, ugh. And I knew, I was like, oh, I really, it was like, I'm gonna use the excuse I have too much to do today to go to the gym. Um, but Arlo's actually at daycare today. It's first day back for him. Um, we got him cleared and everything was good to go for him and um, we just kind of need this day to get everything wrapped up like I realized packing yesterday like is impossible with a toddler like he just sits in the middle and throws everything out so it was kind of impossible and I just have too much to do to get it like smashed into his one nap that he's taking um, he did not not nap well yesterday at all um, so I think he just needs to be around friends in his daycare I think kids really thrive in like a um, schedule and routine and like around other children so that's good um he's there today so i'm running to the gym again it's like 10 to or quarter to nine um i was trying to think of any excuse that i could to to really not go <laughs> i might just honestly do 12 3 30 because the new episode of 90 day fiance happily ever after is out on the um discovery app so might just do that we'll see how i feel once i get there and like my adrenaline starts pumping and i get this pre-workout in me we'll see if i feel like doing more but i just need to like at least move my body because i went on a couple of walks while arlo's um home with me for a week and i think i did actually go to the gym once yeah i think i went to the gym once it was just it's just been a lot so i need to just like get my body get my body going again and can kind of feel like, I don't know, like you don't want to do it once it's been a while since you've done it. So we're getting there, we're doing it. And then Smoothie King, <laughs> I've been obsessed with Smoothie King lately. They have $5 Fridays, so I'm gonna go hit myself up with a smoothie, um, which will probably be like my breakfast lunch situation. Um, breakfast uh, told me over until uh, late lunch so yeah that's the plan we leave tomorrow morning I need to text um, Scott's brother and see when I should drop off Miss Winnie and get her all packed up and ready to go so we got a busy day ahead of us and I'm gonna vlog it for you guys so hope y'all are having a good day and I'll see ya soon all right, you guys, I just got done. Um, I just did 12, 3.30 and then walked for the rest of that half mile because it's so weird, 12, 3.30 feels so difficult and it takes 30 minutes, but you only get a mile and a half, which is crazy because like when I'm walking outside, I get it, it's the incline. When I'm walking outside, I can get like three miles, or almost four miles in um, an hour. So, well. Yeah, and no, <laughs> ignore me. Anyways, that makes sense. I'm just losing it. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be bothered really to do much of anything else because I was just like tired and I was watching 90 Day Fiance and yeah, I was just like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so I just did what I was, I was thinking maybe I'll feel more like, you know, ready to go when I get there. Mm -mm, that wasn't the case, but we still showed up. We did it. So now I'm going to treat myself to Smoothie King. The freaking app is not working. I like don't know what it is. When technology doesn't work, it really infuriates me. Like probably beyond like the normal amount of frustration I get when it won't work. Like I downloaded it. I like close it out I try to it, whenever I'm trying to order it just like the loading screen happens and the whole thing freezes but whatever and then on a super like 
positive note. Um, let's talk about positive customer service. I love talking about good customer service. Oh, can we talk about the fact that, remember I was telling you how I bought Scott that gift card for um, Father's Day? Well, little did I know, there's two PGA situations. There's the PGA Superstore, which is what he wanted, and I bought the PGA like shop, which it's like, all like um, tour or like how do I want to say yeah like championship merchandise that he's like never been to like and so I was like cool so I just wasted $150 on a gift card that he's not gonna use and I called and of course they won't refund me I figured most people will not refund a gift card it's non-refundable thought I would try but I failed but it was it's fine they were still nice customer service and I told Scott he can just buy an outfit from them because they'll only be able to buy like a bolo because it's stupid expensive and then just blame it on me and it'll be a fun joke for for everybody to to uh take pity on me and learned my lesson but anyhow um i realized when i got home from the mall yesterday that my totals weren't adding it. like i wasn't returned the same amount and and honestly when he was doing the process he didn't really like tell me how much was being refunded and I didn't realize so when I got home I checked it and then I realized that they forgot to return um I had repurchased some of the items um because it was on sale so I was like oh okay I'll just rebuy it and refund it whatever um because I didn't feel like doing a price adjustment because I'd have to go into the store but in reality I should have I just didn't have time to go to the store within the like three days that the sale was going on so I just rebought everything and then I returned the full price stuff. Well, he didn't refund a dress, which was $70. So I was like, <clears throat> okay. So I was like, oh shoot. I realized that after I left and I was like, but I don't have the dress. He 100% took the dress. And so I just like emailed customer service from Abercrombie. And you guys know, I worked for Abercrombie for many years. So I was really surprised at how amazing they were. They were like, no problem. We'll refund it right away. And, and they re, re or like responded within like <clears throat> I want to say five hours like it was so quick um so shout out to them for amazing customer service I don't I have worked for customer service for so long so I know what it's like to um understand like they've just got their processes right in terms of like not being like let me go to the store and make sure or let me call the store and make sure that they actually have it like it wasn't a runaround it was literally like we'll fix it ma'am and it's like we love to see that. I don't know. I, for me, I feel like sometimes, um, I know if I had called the store, it would have been like, oh, well, you have to come back. But they just did it all through that. So shout out to Abercrombie for their amazing customer service. I probably could have just called customer service and they probably would have done the price adjustment over the internet. I probably should have done that. But anyways, just shout out to them for having good customer service because I was really surprised. I thought they were gonna be like, let's, let, we have to review the camera, da, da, da. And it's like, no, they just literally simply were like, you know, I don't know. I understand how customer service, oh, my hair is <laughs> nasty. I understand how, um, certain companies have like procedures and whatnot like Sephora um, if somebody calls and says something's missing out of a bag <clears throat> like that they you know purchased we have to go and review cameras and like make sure that you know they're being truthful because honestly a lot of people just aren't and it's hard and you know and we don't keep anything on the counters when we worked for Sephora like we were very like clean with our cashiers so they would normally come to us if they left something out of a bag but you know stuff still happens but it's just it was one of those really nice things that I, they, I wasn't questioned and I just really appreciated that so shout out to Abercrombie's customer service <laughs> that was a long rambly rant I am at Smoothie King can you even see I'm at Smoothie King because there's stupid app won't work um let's try one more time no I don't know why I'm trying of course it's working now I love that for me. I got my order and I got peanut butter added to it this time. So much better. So if you normally get the chocolate slim and trim, try it with peanut butter. I tanned my face clearly, that's why I look so dirty. Um, I got home, I showered, I washed my hair, um, and I've been packing. So I have one suitcase packed for me and Arlo. I think that's pretty much all I need to bring. There might be like two other things um, in the last load of laundry. And then um, Scott needs to pack. He's at the golf store now. 
and um, getting shorts and stuff because I need shorts. And then I need to just pack up our train bags. I haven't had coffee. <laughs> our plane bags, our carry-ons and whatnot. Um, and this it. <sighs> I'm ready to go, I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna drop Winnie off tomorrow at um, Ben's house, so I need to pack up the rest of her stuff. And um, I'm hungry, I need some lunch. I'm gonna make my tuna um, situation, because that sounds kinda good. And just finished watching the rest of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After, and it was a intense episode. So, you know who, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm updating you guys on. I'm probably gonna upload footage um, and start editing now, honestly, and um, see where we're at. See where we're at. I'm kind of thinking I want poke for dinner tonight. That sounds delicious. 